Leslie and I chartered a cat with a skipper for two weeks. We wanted to learn as much as we could about the new life that we'd committed ourselves to. The cat was a privilege 435. It was a good bit smaller than the St. Francis 50 that was now being built for us, but we hoped that this trip would give us a practical idea of what cat sailing is really like and maybe help us refine the specification of our own boat. We chartered the boat with just Mike, the skipper, but he brought his wife Jean along for the trip. This foresail furling system had been damaged in a hurricane and it was to continually jam throughout the entire two weeks. We actually found some of these problems quite educational. This is what we had come for, sailing in a cat. We were finding the motion of a cat different to what we were used to, but it was a pleasant motion and we liked it. St. Bart's lay directly ahead of us, but the wind on the nose we needed to tack our way all the way up to it. Right alongside the road, Leslie enjoys one of the many spring watering points on the island. We, we are here at Runaway Gut, one of our most tourist attractions that was set up by the tourist board and the government of Montreal and the agricultural department. And this is one of the most lush and beautiful places at Montreal. And there's a saying here, if you drink from that spring runaway gut, you shall always return, and I hope you return again, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> the volcanic eruption of 1997 destroyed about 75% of the inhabited area of Montserrat. I'm saying this area here is Old Road Bay. Here used to be one of our best anchoring areas on the island where you could have anchored your sailboat and inside of this area here was like a marina but because of the volcano this whole area is buried. A complete way of life for so many was destroyed. We motored on up the mountain to see the old capital of Plymouth through the valleys of deserted homes. The odd home had been purchased 
at a much reduced price of course, and most were uninhabited, and were slowly being reclaimed by nature. were to gust to 36 knots that night, but still no bad seas. This boat was dragging its anchor 